E and E here, day four for this series of coming out on Neon Dynasty. It's the weekend, therefore expect very few cards to be spoiled. Let's start. Amgard familiar for one and one blue, it's a two one, it's one of those artifact creature equipment. War two. Equip creature get plus two, plus one, and has war two. Reconfigure four four. If you don't know how to play reconfigure, I did a video, a tutorial explaining how this particular mechanic works. Some blade samurai four and one white is a four four with vigilance. Has also channel for two generic mana. Discard it. Search your library for a basic planes. Reveal it and put it into your hand. You gain two life. Moon circuit hacker four and one blue set to one with ninjutsu for one blue. Whenever you do combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. If you do, discard the card unless it enters this battlefield. Guardians of Oboro two and one blue it's a three four with defenders. Modify creatures you control can attack as though they didn't have defender. Awaken the awareness X and two blue it's an aura enchant artifact or creature enters the battlefield put X plus one plus one counters on enchanted permanent as long as enchanted permanent is a creature it has base power and toughness of one one this particular card can be used as an offense and also as a defense so if X let's say X it's two you can pump a creature with two plus one plus one counters but it will have base power and toughness of one one but if X is zero for two blue you will enchant, let's say, an opponent's creature, and that creature will have base power of 1-1. One, one. Very interesting card in my opinion. Protege prototype for 1, 1 white and 1 blue, etc. For it's a vehicle. Whenever one or more vehicles you control attacks, create a 1-1 one, one colorless pilot creature token with this creature, cruise vehicles as though its power were too greater. Crew for two. Historian's Wisdom for two and one green. It's an aura. Enchant artifact or creature. Enters the battlefield. If enchanted permanent is a creature with the greatest power among creatures on the battlefield, draw a card. As long as enchanted permanent is a creature, it gets plus two, plus one. Bamboo Grove Archer for one and one green. It's a three, three enchantment creature, snake archer. Defender and reach. Channel four and one green. Discard it. Destroy target creature with flying. Tempered in solitude for one and one red, it's an enchantment. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, exit the top card of your library, you may play that card this turn. Because you can play not cast, it means that you also can play lands on top of your library. Quite interesting card in my opinion. The only mythic card spoiled today, Nashi, Moon Sage Sion for one and two black, it's a three two legendary creature, red ninja. Ninjutsu for three and one black. When it does combat damage to a player, exile the top card of each player's library. Until end of turn, you may play one of those cards. If you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its mana value rather than paying its mana cost. This card is perfectly designed to be played in a multiplayer game. It's a legendary creature, therefore it's perfectly designed for commander. Let's say you're playing a multiplayer commander game against four other players. It's a five multiplayer game. You will deal combat damage to a player and you'll exile the top card of each player's. Therefore, you will exile five cards, including yours. You will play one of those and you will pay with your life instead of paying the mana cost. Very, very strong card in my opinion. So this was the last card in this particular very short spoiler video for Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Tune in tomorrow because tomorrow we'll have more and more spoilers to review. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the Collectible World.